guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. Today it's Let's Talk Authors. And I chose Dean Koontz for this episode because I had somebody who had made a request for a top 10 of um, Dean Koontz, top 10 favorite of Dean Koontz books. And um, I'm not sure that I can give a top 10 on that, but I will have a top five. Um, Dean Koontz is not like a favorite, favorite author, but I have enjoyed his books and I do have quite a few. This shelf right here is dedicated to Dean Koontz books. We'll just, we'll, we'll go with the top five on that. Um, the request is from Super Strange Shadow, I think, and sorry, I just, I, I can't get my mind to work to, to pick a top 10 favorite. Um, one of the reasons for that is because I have not read a Dean Koontz book in a very long time. And uh, it's, I guess, it's, I don't know, I don't really know why. I guess I'm just not finding an interest in it right now. And it's been so long that I don't even remember a lot of the books that I did read. So that's why it's going to, it's a little difficult for me to get a top 10 of his books. Um, but I do want to revisit um, his books. He does have several series, but he's got mostly like standalone books. So it's easy to read a book by Dean Koontz because a lot of them are standalones. Um, the series that I've read is, I've, I've, I've read the first three books in the Frankenstein series and I really like those. And I've seen where a lot of people didn't really like his Frankenstein series. But I want to finish that series, so I'll have to go back to the beginning and start those again. Because I don't remember them. It's been quite a few years since I read it. And then the Odd Thomas series. And I really love the Odd Thomas character. But I kind of think he lost that excitement in the series. Somewhere around book three or four. And I don't have a desire to finish the series now. But I really do like Odd Thomas's character. He's just, he's fantastic. He's brilliantly written. And I just think the plot of the stories just kind of got away from the author. And they just, they, you know, there, there may be a more exciting book long down the line. But after I read the fourth book, I was like, oh, this is kind of losing its, you know, its flair. It's losing the excitement. And it felt a little bit boring to me. Um, he also has a Pendleton series which the first book in that is 77 Shadow Street and a couple years back well probably about three years back I read this as a as a buddy read with with several people and I did not like the book I they liked it um, most of them I think liked it but I just I could not get into that book at all so I will not be continuing the Pendleton series and then he's got another series called Moonlight Bay and that starts with Seize the Night I'm not sure if I've got that book on my shelf or not, but we will soon see. Um, and that's the series that I know that he has. I also know he's got some graphic novels. Um, it's like every author's got graphic novels now. And of course, these series also have novellas, you know, the point five, one point five books in between the series. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you the books that I have by Dean Koontz, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here is our Dean Koon shelves. I moved these around a little bit so it'll be easier to um, see the books. Um, so here we have Intensity, and I also have this in paperback that I got from my used bookstore, uh, I don't know, a year or two back. And then one of my most more recent uh, Goodwill visits, I found this nice library-bound copy of Intensity. So there's the intensity. And here in front we've got Mr. Murder, The Face, Whispers, and The Darkest Evening of the Year. There's those. And then we've got Strangers, The Door to December, and we've got up here We've got Midnight, Velocity, The Taking, and The Eyes of Darkness. And then over here we have Your Heart Belongs to Me, um, Relentless, 
Winter Moon, Cold Fire, The Mask, Demon Seed, you can read that, Demon Seed, One Door Away From Heaven, Dark Rivers of the Heart, and then these right here are all of the um, Frankenstein books. So we've got City of Night, The Prodigal Son, um, that one is out of order. Um, book three is Dead and, Al Dead and Alive. Book four is Lost Souls. And then the final book is The Dead Town. I love these covers of these books. They're fantastic. Um, I don't know. They did that cover change to those. Those are the top paperbacks. And then, then they've got the shorter ones with, with this cup, these covers on it. But I like the top paperback covers better. Okay, and then we've got 77 Shadow Street. What the Night Knows, which I've not even read that one yet. Okay, and then moving on to the stack back here. We've got The Light of the Moon, Hideaway, uh, Life Expectancy, From the Corner of His Eye, Watchers, and False Memory, which was one book I could not get into. I might try that again. I don't know. And then we've got The Good Guy, The Bad Place, and Tick Tock. And those are the books that I have of Dean Coombs. Now I'll have to put them all back. My top five Dean Coombs books I picked. Intensity being probably my favorite out of the top five um, next to Watchers. Um, so there's Intensity and Watchers. And then I have to say Whispers because I really liked this one too. But like I said, it's been so long since I've read these books that now I really want to get them reread. Um, the Taking is another favorite and one of the most recent ones that I read probably a couple years ago like two years ago maybe three was Tick Tock. I really enjoyed that one as well. Um, I believe if I can remember correctly this one started out a little slow and then it picked up and ended up really enjoying it. Um, once I get more books read by Dean Koontz I could probably find more to add to a favorites list but for now these are my top five Dean Koontz books. Sorry that I could not do a top ten but, like I said, my memory needs to be refreshed because it's been so long since I've read anything by him. So if you guys like Dean Koontz, let me know in the comments below and let me know which ones you liked the best. So that is my Let's Talk Authors, guys. Um, thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.